Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. Uh, we're going to talk about a commonly asked question I get on my, on my YouTube tips. How does the pelvis work during the swing? Okay, how do the hips work? What about a sway? The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> Right, in the backswing, how does the pelvis work? The hips. So, in general, we want a nice, comfortable stance. We don't want to go too wide. That locks a lot of things up. It's good if you want to put in the wind or something like that, or you want to lock it up, but it's too wide for the golf swing. Too narrow is not a bad way to practice because it will get the pelvis moving nicely, but it's not very powerful. So, in general, we're looking at slightly widen in shoulders on a driver so your shoulders would be kind of in the middle of your feet and a seven iron nearly the width of your shoulder so nice and comfortable okay now you will see a stance looks different if you if you pigeon toes your feet which i don't so my feet are turned out a little bit just helps a little bit with my knees uh, so my stance will look a little wider at the front than it is at the back okay so pelvis wise so what i want to do is i want to turn into my right pelvis, okay? I want to turn into my right hip. Now what actually happens is we go down this line, is I turn, I go a little bit this way, and then I turn back on myself, and I pinch in here in my groin. So if I put a finger in right in between that area there, between my quad and that, I pinch it in the backswing, okay? So this will go up and high behind me, okay? My knee will stay, my knee shin, stay over my ankle. I don't want to be inside my ankle. That's a long way to have to come back from. And I certainly don't want to be outside it. So we get our knee and shin, we get our shin at 90 degrees is a good place to look at it, okay? But we're twisting into this and that gets you up into this glute here is quite tight and ready to go. So I can turn up into this here without it straightening out, without it staying too bent. I squeeze, turn into this right, so if anything, my abductor here is actually rotating in, in the backswing. It's rotated in against my pelvis turning. So I'm kind of jammed into that spot there, okay? Just like so, nice and high. Now, the downswing. So once we've turned up there, I really recommend that you lift your heel because it's such a nice place to start your downswing. You just press the heel down, okay? Everything is stayed shut. Okay, like so. And from here, once we've moved into there, all we do from here, and please excuse the language, we squeeze our bollocks from there. You squeeze your groin, you squeeze your quads together, whatever way you want to look at it. For me, I squeeze, so I'm into this left side. From here, I'm just squeezing, squeezing these two together, squeezing my legs together like so. So what's interesting about it is, it's the exact same pinch as in the backswing. So if I put my finger in there, I squeeze into that area. The left knee stays bent. We don't want to lock this out. It's, it's going to injure you locking out. It's, power, it's a power loss. Again, I go into my right side. I start squeezing, okay? This stays bent for quite a bit. Actually, true impact for most people. The younger guys are up earlier. Maybe that's a better power way, but you certainly don't want to lock it out. That's nothing. Turning your hip left like that is nothing. There's no power in that. Straighten it is nothing. Turning into your left hip. And again, if you watch the best uh, pitchers and batters in baseball, when they throw, their quad turns into the throw. So that leg is actually coming this way. Their abductor is turning inwards and they're going against it. Okay, that is the motion. You're squeezing here. You're pinching this area. That's staying. The quad, the abductor, everything is turning in like so, like that. And it's the same in a golf swing. We're turning into that side. We're squeezing all this area and we're squeezing it up. The up happens after impact, but you feel the up before impact. So again, as you watch there, turned into my right side. So I move, it kind of, my 
you will see this, it goes, and then it comes back in behind me. There's a bit of lateral sitting down into that left heel. Ideally, the heel would be this way for speed. I kind of just get it straight back down. Okay, then we're turning into that. We're turning our right pelvis, jamming it under our left side, like so. This is turning against it. This is all ha happening dynamically. So it, it should go quite smoothly. That turns into it like so. And from there you squeeze up. The right foot will go up and in and you'll have quite a big, strong finish. If anything, slightly leaning back with the body, big wide chest, nice and strong. Everything stretched as high as you can get it. The biggest stretch you can get going through like so, even all the way through. God, I'm not, I'm not very supple today. Like so. So the big high stretch, as high as you can get it, as wide as you can get it. But the main thing here is the pelvis. We've turned into our right side. We squat it into our left. Then we've turned in again. So the right is going under. It's jamming into it like that. A good way to get that feeling is close your stance and just turn underneath. If my right knee is underneath the left there, like so. That's how you start the downswing. You turn in and then up, okay? We do not want any of this just flashing the hip left. That's not gonna help us. We want that way. As I said, squeeze your groin area, squeeze your quads, your abductors together, squeeze them like so and that then up to a high finish. And that's how the pelvis work. It doesn't necessarily work as much as it, it's certainly not a sway. It's not loose, especially loose in the downswing. The worst thing you can do in your golf swing is just straighten that left leg. That's just a terrible move. We want aggression in, you want to be turning into that left leg and getting a lot of tension like so. The knee stays bent a lot longer than you think, but it does then straighten up. So the pelvis, you don't straighten your knee by your left leg. What straightens your left leg during the downswing is your torso and pelvis coming up. So it's this motion straightens the knee rather than not that motion. It's the body straightens it up. That is probably very, very important to know. It's certainly not straighten your left leg like so. It's the body that brings the leg up to a straight position. So I've gone back over this a few times. Do not just lock that leg out. You'll get injured doing that. You'll get no power, you'll get a slice. It's more turn into it and squeeze up and that will straighten the left leg. And that's how the pelvis works.